body. We invite you to take your seats as our concert is getting ready to begin. We invite everybody to go to their seats at this time. Our concert is getting ready to begin. We invite everybody to take their seats. All right, everybody, we invite you to go to your seats as we begin our concert. Uh, to kick off tonight, you know that we have a star-studded lineup, but you all are not paying attention to me. So I'm going to invite everybody to stand on their feet. Let's have a word of prayer as we begin tonight. All right, everybody, we're all on our feet in honor of God. Let's pause for a word of prayer. Spirit of the living God, we ask that you would fall afresh on us. God, we have been here for this encampment today. We have heard your voice speak to us through the preach word, through prayer, through song. God, we have reflected and meditated. We've reconnected with our friends and loved ones. We've recognized and celebrated those who have excelled in their service. And tonight, God, we have come just for a night of worship. God, we invite your presence into this house. We pray that you would tabernacle with us. Lord, we pray that you would pitch your tent right here. Your scripture says that where two are gathered in your name. Then it says two or three. We've got hundreds, yea, thousands that have come together tonight for worship. God, would you honor us with your presence? Would you move in this place? And we pray that when we leave, that we would not have just come and sung and left, but that we would have had an encounter with you. God, we pray that you would reach down into our hearts, touch our souls, shift something within us. We pray, God, that this would be a moment of deliverance and transformation for somebody. And everybody who's born again declare amen and amen. Would you give God a hand clap of praise as you go to your seats? Ladies and gentlemen, our MC, our master of ceremonies tonight is none other than Mr. Timothy Anderson. Timothy Anderson is a mighty man of God. Can you put your hands together and welcome Brother Tim Anderson? Would you put your hands together and give God praise? No, I said put your hands together and give God praise. Even in the balcony, I need you to put your hands together like this and give God all of the glory just for about 10 seconds. If you know that the Lord has done something for you, I need you to lift your hands, open up your mouths in the presence of the Lord and say, Lord, I thank you. It's another day that the Lord has kept me. And I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to Camp Victory Lake because when we get in one place and we get on one accord then we get into God's presence and he begins to move and things begin to happen open up your mouth clap your hands all you people shout shout I didn't come all the way from Maryland just for you to pat a cake God to hear you say yes Lord I can't hear you yes Lord yes Lord let everything that got breath open up your mouth and praise the name of Jesus praise the name of Jesus 
Jesus. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him for His excellent greatness. Let everything, let everything, you might be sitting on the wrong road. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I hope you're on the right road. Because this road is a praise road. This road, that's the wrong neighbor. Find another neighbor and say, neighbor, I hope you don't mind me moving. Because when I think of the goodness of Jesus, He's done for me. My soul. My soul. What are you looking at? My soul. My soul. Anybody got a testimony that your soul cries out? Now shout hallelujah. 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 On the count of three, we're going to shout it together. On the count of three, we're going to shout it together. Look at your neighbor and say neighbor. Oh neighbor, when I shout, you got to shout. I may be shouting for your family. I may be shouting for your breakthrough. So when you shout, I need you to shout for me. Because I came into this place. We're going to go with the one. With some burdens. I came in this place with a heavy load. But I need you, neighbor, to help me lift up the name that is above every name. Because the Bible says, neighbor... At the name of Jesus, every knee, why are you not talking in the balcony, and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God on the count of three. One, two, three. Now clap your hands for Jesus, everybody. Hey, I just wanted to make sure that I was in the right conference because this is Northeastern Conference. We do things differently at North, in Northeastern. We give God the glory. Now just one more time, I just need you to do this just for yourself. Give God some glory and bless the name of Jesus. The praise team is coming. The praise team is coming. The praise team is coming. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Um, when they start singing. Um, hey, pastor. When they start singing, I'm going to need you to sing with them. So, so I want to introduce to you, everybody say my cousin, Minister Terrell Stone and the worship team. Now I got it. Happy Sabbath church. Somebody said, yeah, happy Sabbath church. I can actually say this, happy Sabbath family. It's good to see all of you here. Isn't it, can we just praise God for this facility? I remember when there used to be a basketball court in here after hours. We get busy. But God is good. We're going to sing a couple songs. I'm so glad I have my family here with me. Family here too. And God is really more than able. Do you believe God is able? And as, as beautiful as this room is, I want freedom 
to fill this room. Yeah. So come on, feel free to stand on your feet. You're going to be standing all night. Stand on your feet. Let freedom fill the room. Here we go. You can clap your hands. Of kings and the 
God, do you want to be free? I don't think it from him. Do you really want to be free? So I was a cute Hey, freedom is a good thing, y'all. I want to be free in Jesus. I am. Say no longer, no longer. Come on, church, no more chains. No more chains. My soul is resting. It's just a blessing. It is just a blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Like I said before, God is more than able. He's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above what you can even ask or even think. Here we go.
praise your great God. I don't know what will. I dare every believer to open up your mouth and give your great God a great praise. I was going to cool and and there was not enough time between the time he swerved and the debris in the middle of the left lane came upon me there was a Prius on my right and there was a ditch on my left <laughs> I don't take credit for anything that happened I'm standing before you because I serve a mighty God he sends angels the Bible says that the Lord has angels that at campeth round about them. And what does he do? He delivers. He delivers. He's a might. Okay, all right. Y'all gonna look at me like I'm crazy. But it's all right. At, at, at soon to be 51 I really don't care because I know what the Lord has done for me <laughs> you don't know but I know what the Lord has done for me I was so come, where, where's Socrates come on you, you had something to say you didn't want to say something alright my sister is coming um Hallelujah. 
it could have been another way. You could have been getting a text. Tim can't make it because he and his family were in an accident. All right. You should have been in an accident. It should have been you in the... Your submarine should have imploded a long time ago. Okay. All right. All right. Um, uh, Melanie Daniels. is what I consider one of music's living legends. Um, I don't want to put her business out there, but she has sung with everybody. Um, from Israel Houghton to Mariah Carey to everybody. And I, I'm so blessed. We prophesied this, by the way. <laughs> we talked about this on the phone back in April or May. And um, I, I'm so happy that my sister is here. My big sister, would you put your hands together? Let's just do this. I need everybody to stand and give the Lord some praise. for the minstrel for the gift of Melanie Daniels. Hallelujah. I'm still trying to get myself together. You are more than able Just what he said he would do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't Cause he won't give up on you. He is more than able. Just like everybody else at the beginning of 2020, we didn't know what the world was gonna bring to us. did that with me. I've been singing since I was three years old. And I can't remember not singing. That's how long I've been singing. January of 2020, third Sunday, I was on the platform where I serve my Sunday church. Happy Sabbath, by the way. And I couldn't get my wind together. I didn't know what was going on, and I'd never felt like that before, singing. I was always control, always in control of my breathing. I've been doing breath control exercises since I was seven. Like I said, I've been singing since I was three. Started taking voice lessons at seven. So I'd never lost my breath. And I was singing tenor with the praise team in front of the choir. And I looked at one of my fellow team members. I said, you got to take this mic. I can't do it. Found out a couple of weeks later, I had an infection. That was in my foot. And for those that know about infections, if you don't take care of it, it can get into your bloodstream. And it could kill you. I waited three weeks. And then finally I had to go to the hospital because things weren't, weren't right. Um, I was diagnosed with a condition called osteomyelitis where the infection went to the bone of my big toe, my left foot. 
And they came in and informed me. They were like, uh, we're going to have to amputate your toe. I was like, excuse me? Say what? <laughs> I'd never had an issue with wounds or anything. I um, was diagnosed as a, I say, I say it like this, I was diagnosed as a type 2 diabetic several years ago. Never had any issues. And this was the first time God literally sat me down because he knew I was tired. And I was at my breaking point. Subsequently, I had the amputation. Moved on, fast forward to October 2021. Got another infection in the rest of the toes on the left foot. And the doctors came in again and said, we're gonna have to amputate. I said, okay, if it's gonna kill me, get rid of it. I don't want it. So, that's why I'm seated on this stool right now, because my balance is wonky. I can still sing. <laughs> but even in that statement, from October of 2021 till December of 22, I did not sing. It wasn't because I didn't have a voice. I didn't know what was going on with my health. I had nine procedures all together. Had to go to rehab to relearn how to walk. And God is faithful. So that's why that he is more than able is so real to me. He's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we could ever ask or think. According to his power that works on it, on the inside of us. So I'm gonna sing my little songs. If you know them, sing along. If you don't, act like you know them. Humor me, because we're all gonna worship God together. What we're doing tonight is this sets up an atmosphere for us to have an encounter with the King of Kings. It's not just for you to be entertained by what we do and how we sound and what we look like. It creates an atmosphere of signs, wonders, and miracles. So get in while the getting is good. While, you, while, the, while the pool is being troubled, get in and get what you need. I'm going to say that again for the people in the back. While the pool water is troubled at the, at the, at the pool of Bethesda, get in and get what you need. Because everything that we need is in the presence of God. Everything we need is in the presence of God. And just uh, don't be concerned about what's going on in this world right now. Because guess what? We win. And I don't know about you, but I need his spirit every single day. His spirit is our paraclete, is our teacher, is our, it guides us into all truth. That's what the word of God says. So I need his spirit to fall fresh on me. Hallelujah. Let's go. You can put your hands together. I need your spirit to fall fresh on me. I need your spirit, clap your hands, to give me the strength I need. When I fall on my knees, I know that you will rescue me. I need your Holy Spirit down in my soul. Oh, my. 
Hallelujah. Don't want to make a move without him. I need you, Lord, by my side. I need your protection to be my guide. I need you, Lord, every day. Close beside me every step of the way. Can y'all clap? Ready? One, two. One, two. Four, two. I don't want to leave nobody out, so let's double up. You quadrupled up. I need your spirit. I want your spirit. Fall on me. Fall down on me. You sing. Everybody say, go. Fall fresh on me, y'all. because y'all said to the Lord, I need your spirit. Trust me, he will guide you into all truth and he will teach you what you need to know just when you need to know it. There will be glory after this. All of the things that we've experienced, all the things that we've been through, all the people that we have lost, all the, all the friendships that have been restored, everything. There will be glory after this. This, this time that we're having right now, is not to be compared to the glory of God that shall be revealed in us. There will be glory after this. Hallelujah.
Storm has got a pass over the storm. 
He'll never leave you, no, he won't. For he's standing right there just for you. Hallelujah. And because we know that the glory that shall be revealed is great. That's why we just worship him. We love to sing about him. And you know what? We're the only beings in the earth that have vocal bands that reverberate off of one another to create sound. You got people that try to compare, you know, scientifically to other species in the earth, but they can't form words because we were made in the image and after the likeness of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are able to worship God. That's why we were built. That's why we were built the way we are built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have the lung capacity. We have, like I said, the vocal bands that reverberate to make sound. And God deserves all that glory anyhow. So if you would, I know y'all been here all day. Y'all had your picnic. And uh, hopefully you got a little energy from the rice and peas. Well, peas and rice. From the stew chicken and the fish ceviche. Yeah, I know about that stuff. Don't be deceived. My 48% is strong. It's funny how God takes the lesser things and makes them the greater things. Isn't that something? I like God's math. Okay. This song is called Forever because that's what we're going to be doing, worshiping the Lord forever. If you don't mind, and even if you do, if you want to stand on your feet and clap and sing with us, you are more than welcome. We've come to glorify the Lord. We've come to lift his name on high. We've come to praise his name forever and evermore. For his goodness and his mercy endures forever. And we sing hallelujah. Oh, Lord, we give you praise forever and evermore. Hallelujah. Put those hands together right here. We love to glorify. To glorify you. Your name we lift on high. And we lift on high. Oh, Lord. We'll sing praise. We'll sing praise to your name. Forever and evermore. We love to glorify. To glorify you. Your name we lift on high. We lift on high. We will sing praise. Forever and evermore. For your goodness. For your goodness and mercy. Oh, 
give the Lord some praise for the ministry gift of minstrel Melanie Daniels I, I, I don't want to I, I don't want you to sit down so I'm not going to spend a long time I want you to put your hands together with Jesus joy and welcome to Camp Victory Lake for the first time Stella Award winner and the Minister of Music at the New Birth Missionary Baptist Church in Lithonia, Georgia. My brother, Minister Jonathan Nelson. No, don't stop clapping till he mounts this stage. Don't you stop clapping until he mounts this stage. So can I say happy Sabbath on the evening? Okay, happy Sabbath everybody. Today I'm Seven Day Adventist. I'm making myself family. Y'all don't have a choice. Tomorrow I'll be Missionary Baptist. Today I'm Seven Day Adventist. Is that all right? I don't know all of the people. My daddy's a preacher. And he said, you never go into another man's house without giving proper honor. So forgive me, I don't know whose name to call, but I honor all of the leaders of this great camp. Can we just I'll clap our hands for all of the leaders? the leadership and whoever, forgive me for not knowing your names, but can we just clap our hands for all of the leadership? I just want to make sure I'm respectful. And Brother Socrates, thank you so much for this great invitation. We don't have a lot of time. Um, I've got a flight to catch and all of my nephews are with me. We got a train to catch back in Manhattan. We've driven, uh, we've, we had a train for two hours and then we drove for another two hours, but we're here and we came to bless him tonight. So, okay, so um, we, we had a, a little slight technical difficulty. Let me, see. let me hear C, let me hear one. Praise him. Praise him. Do y'all know that? Can we sing it together? Praise Put some harmony on it like y'all know what they do. Praise him. Jesus bless his head. Jesus bless his head. Listen, I know Seven Day Adventists. I, I go to a lot of Seven Day Adventists. I go to Oakwood a lot. I know some of y'all can sit. I know some of y'all gonna stand, but I know one thing, y'all know how to sing. I know that, I know that for sure. So look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, we gonna sing and worship together. I want you to get a praise partner to make sure that if they don't sing too well, just look straight ahead. All right, let's go. Come on, let's worship together, everybody. Come on. Can you put a little bounce in your kneecap? 
Alright, let me hear y'all now. Say, I can't hear you say. said the name Jesus, something would happen in the building. I tell you to say his name until the building reverberates. Say it. Jesus. Jesus. How I Hey. Come on, say how him oh, 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 oh.
I don't know if y'all sang this in church growing up, but I am someone trustly saved from sin. Jesus, so sweetly abides. I think I'm in the right church tonight. There at the cross where he took me. Let's sing it, everybody. If you know what's saying. before you get back home. You ought to say, I'll say yes, Lord, yes. To your will and to your way. I'll say yes, Lord, yes. I will. And when you're... This is key. With my... What's your answer say? So sometimes people want to hear them songs. I just feel like singing old school, so I could do that all night. But now nah, I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. Look at your neighbor. Holler up and say, neighbor, you cannot give up. Tell them you got to finish strong. Strong faith, yeah. Strong faith, I'm going to have. 
strap. I tell the tennis, come out. Soprano, y'all say. I'll finish strong. Yes, I'll finish. Minor, make sure y'all say that. All three points, everybody say. In the building, say it, yeah. is on you, the blessing is on you, the blessing is on you. That's it, that's it. Make sure everybody got that blessing. Make sure everybody got it, everybody got it. Since we got the blessing, and since we're here, and since we survived COVID, I think it's just good to just tell the Lord that we love him tonight. Can we lift our hands and say, 
Jesus, I really do love you. Millions of words can describe the feeling I have down inside. It's hard to contain, so I'll simply say. Praise tonight. I'm gonna feed everybody the words. Would y'all sing along? Millions of words. Everybody, let's try to catch it together. Millions of words. The feeling I have down inside. Simple. 
with anybody's soul tonight. Thank you so much, Brother Socrates, for having me. My nephews, I love them so much. They cover me with, I gotta go. We gotta, what you, what you need, mother? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, all right. Do me a favor. I got to go. All right. Get something to put it in your hand. Anybody in here from the islands? Any plain old just Americans in here? Get something in your hand, even if you gotta take your ponytail off, put it back on later. You gotta take your wig off, put it back on later. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, S-O-S, scoot over some. Cause I'm about to get my praise on. bless you everybody. Thank y'all for having me. All right. So for real, so I'm acting like I'm in Africa right now. Okay. Melody took us to the motherland. I know that we're Seventh Day Adventists and I know that we're proper praisers. Y'all know I know, right? Okay. Not tonight, okay. So, in Nigeria, they say, I'm getting ready to misbehave for Jesus. So, I need somebody to get ready to misbehave for Jesus. And I mean, they dance and celebrate. We're leaving here celebrating. Get some in your hand. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, hold on. 
Snap a, snap a picture real quick, because I can't take pictures. We got to get in the car. I don't want to be rude. I normally would. So get y'all picture now. to say after that just go ahead and say amen so long bye bye thank you minister of music jonathan nelson my 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 okay we gotta calm down we gotta calm down wow pastor washington pastor noah washington what am i supposed to say after that like for real they give me the mic to say like what everyone 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 I'm going to call Dr. Delahaye forward to give us a, a prayers out. Dr. Delahaye, I saw you in here. Come pray us out. Let's land well. Let's land well. Come on, Dr. Delahaye. Let's put it together for Dr. Nicardo Delahaye, who worked really hard to make this concert happen. Come on and say amen. Doc, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say a quote, and then I'm going to give it to you to pray. Y'all ready for my quote? You ready? Hold on. Here it is. Here it is. Sometimes... Sometimes, when we're in a dark place, we think that we've been buried. But perhaps you've just been planted. And I just need you, I just need you to promise that you're gonna grow from the dirt they threw on you. Listen, bloom wherever you are, no matter what your trial is, so long, bye, bye. Take us out, Dr. Delahaye. Let's stand on our feet all over the house. Can we give God a hand clap of praise for what he has done in this place tonight? <laughs> Would you join me in prayer? Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come. We're grateful that we have been in this space. We're thankful that you visited us tonight. And God, our hearts are alight with passion for you. We pray, God, that you would bless Jonathan Nelson as he travels back. We pray, God, that you would continue to prosper his ministry. We pray, God, that you would keep his health, keep him from harm, sickness, accident, and danger. And we pray that you'll bring him back to us another time for another blessing. Now, God, as we continue to worship you for the rest of this week into next weekend, we pray that the spirit of the living God would be poured out in great measure on the Northeastern Conference family. God, may we pause to see what the Lord has done, and may we walk with you hand in hand to continue to witness the great and marvelous works of the Almighty God. And Father, we look forward with great anticipation until that day when our faith becomes sight, until that day when the church militant becomes the church triumphant, when we depart the shores of this earth to rest our feet on the terra firma of glory, and we wave and say so long bye-bye to sickness, pain, death, sorrow, cancer, high blood pressure, diabetes, bills, sorrow, we'll say goodbye. God, would you come again and redeem us soon? In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Can you give God a hand clap of praise in this house?